Hello friends, my name is Sagar Mori and today in this video we are going to see all the types of installation that we can do with Next.js 13. So let's start. Before you install Next.js 13, you should have installed Node.js first. And in order to do that, you can just open your browser, search for Node.js and uh, you can see the download menu there. Click on it and according to your operating system, select the option. It will download the application and you have to click on that and install that application in your machine. Once Node.js is installed, then you can install Next.js as well. So in my case, Node.js is already installed. I am going to install Next.js now and you can do that with the help of opening a command prompt from the start menu. Run it as administrator because it will have permission to create the files and folders. Here you just have to type npm install hyphen g which is global flag which will install the next js application globally so you will need that again and again to create uh, another applications and from here you just have to type command create next app this will install the next js in your machine but if you want to install the latest version of next js you just have to write at the rate latest here and press enter it will install the package for you and once that is installed you can just go to your desired directory where you want to create the project for Next.js. Here I am going to open the terminal and here I will be writing a command to create Next.js application and see the command. I will be writing the npx which is node package executor and the command which is create next app. So this is the command to create the application and you have to specify your application name. So I will write uh, Next.js uh, with SRC. Why I have written that you will get to know. Please do not skip the video. Keep watching because you have to be in a flow with me to understand the flow. So next with SRC is my project name. I pressed enter button and now it is asking me whether I would like to install TypeScript or not. But I don't want to install it. So I will not go with the TypeScript. It is asking me whether ESLint is necessary for your project or not. You can select accordingly. I will select yes because I should be able to see the problems if there are any. It is asking me whether Tailwind is required or not. So I will say no. And it is also asking whether you need SRC application or not. So in our case, we said next with SRC because that is project name. You can give any project name, but I am going to show you how you can install the Next.js application with SRC directory. We will see another option where we do not need SRC directory and without the SRC directory also we can install. But here in our case, we will select yes for now. And it is asking me whether app router is required in your case or not. And they are recommended it. So I will say yes. And here they are asking me whether you want to customize the import alias or not. I don't want to customize it. So I pressed enter. The application is being installed. It will take some time according to your net uh, speed. And uh, it is taking time. Till then I will show you how the directories uh, are going to create it. So here next with SRC is our directory name. And you can see public SRC and other files are getting created. Public and SRC are the folder. Node module folder is also there which will install all the node modules required for your next application. And since we have uh, chosen SRC directory option, here is our SRC directory which is getting created. Now this SRC directory is created. You can go inside it and see what all other directories are getting created. So inside it, app.js directory is there. Inside which you can, will be writing the code for your entire application. And uh, you can see the structure is now created with node module, public, SRC, other files which are required for Next.js application. And here SRC folder is main because we have selected that. And inside that app.js folder is also there. So this app folder is the main point where you will be writing your code. So let me run it first. So I will say change directory in my command prompt. I will say uh, next with src directory i want to open and here i will say npm run dev so this is the command to run the next.js application once you fire that command in your next.js folder where you have installed your project it will start opening the next.js application so i will say yes and it will automatically open the folder for me and the browser will get opened 
let's wait for some time okay and even if you don't have the browser open automatically you can just copy this line of code which is there on your command prompt you can open your browser here i am opening it and on your browser you just have to copy and paste this path so this is a local host where the application is running you press enter and you will be able to see the node.js application running here on your browser you have to wait for some time in order to see the effect and make sure you do not close this command prompt because here uh, the server is actually running so you should not close this command prompt you will be able to see the output in a while here in browser yeah here is the output see the next js application is running and here is the default home page let's say you want to change the name of uh, this docs to something else so you just have to navigate to your folder where the pages and all the things are there in the app directory inside src directory i will open page.js first or you can just open the entire folder in visual studio code just like this i will open it here and once your project is open in visual studio code you can just go to your src folder inside that app folder is there layout.js is also there and from there i will go to page.js where all the uh, code is written so as i said i don't want that docs text and instead of that i will write something else so i will write test in capital i typed it and now let's see the output so here test text is there so this is one way of doing it so let's install it with the second way where we will not use src directory for our installation i will close the terminal for now so the server is stopped i will go back here and here i will uh, create another project without src so let's say next without src i will open the terminal i will type the command again npx create react sorry create next app and your app name so next without src is our application name press enter and it will take some time it will also ask you the questions which it has asked earlier so i don't want typescript esplint i want i don't want tailwind src so here previously we have chosen yes and that's why src directory got created here we will see no this time app router we want and uh, i don't want to configure the default alias so i said no and make sure that you notice this change here we have not chosen src directory option earlier we have chosen it so src directory got created at this time we have said no and it will create the application without src directory so let's see what folders it has created so this is our folder next without src in which the folders are getting created node module was there previously also public was also there but src folder is not there if you see the app folder is there instead which is the feature of nextjs 13 in which the files and uh, structure is same as the previous one you can just uh, run the project first let me open it in the visual studio code and till then we can run this folder so our folder name was next without src let me open that yeah here it is i will write npm run and dev that is the command i will run this project and here it will prompt me if the port is already running so here the project is started on this particular url copy this url and paste it in your browser's address bar let me open the browser okay here it is i pasted it on the address bar and pressed enter it will open the website for me so this time we have not created src directory and src directory is not there instead app directory is directly there in the same level where public and node module folders are there and inside app directory the same structure is present as earlier and uh, let's see if our application is running or not it will take some time 
and let's see the output and this time also we will change something from there so let's say uh, this time we don't want this image to be displayed here uh, and i will open that in the next application in visual studio code so this was next with the src i will close that and uh, i will open it in the visual studio code this particular folder next without src so let's see open in code and here now if you notice the src application or src folder is not there in study app folder is there in which i will go to page.js file in the page.js file the image is there yeah here it is and image is the component is next js i will remove that and let's see i will remove this image as well and now we should not be able to see the image yeah the image is gone so this way you can edit it i showed you the installation types with src and without src so this way you can install it with and without src files i hope uh, you understand the process and the installation steps uh, you can follow the same by watching the video on uh, lower speed uh, or by resuming the video uh, you can follow and let me know in the comment with whether you were able to install it or not i hope you liked the video if you like the video please click on like button share this video with your friends so that can also learn how to install nextjs and subscribe for more such videos press the bell icon and you will get the notification for upcoming video thank you so much for your time